What goes on inside the mind of a world-class gamer? What separates their brain from the rest of us? And what can you and I learn to unlock our full potential? Finding answers to questions like these is our goal at Kernel. My name is Brian Johnson, and I'm the founder of Kernel. Today, all of us can track our steps, count our calories, and know what our heart rate is. But we know a surprisingly little amount about our brain and our minds. At Kernel, we hope to change that. We have built the world's most versatile brain interface. This revolutionary technology measures your brain activity in real time and allows us to ask the sort of questions that we began with, like, what's the difference between an expert gamer's brain and that of a novice? To find out, we're headed to Dallas, Texas, where I am going head to head with a true master. Two-time X Games gold medalist and Call of Duty world champion, Seth Abner, AKA Scump. Hey buddy. Hello Buzz. Welcome to the show, Buzz. Yeah. You wanna be part of this? <laughs> I've been playing video games ever since, even before my professional career in it. Um, I've been playing video games since I was probably eight or nine years old. It's really interesting where people think it's all just natural talent and gift, but there's such a mental aspect that goes into it that people don't mm -hmm. understand. You know, we play and we play and we don't realize how many neurons are just firing in your brain at all times to make these split second decisions. And like, it's like we're wired to do it, but to actually see the wiring firing while we're doing it would be a pretty unique experience. So I yeah. think it'll be pretty cool. We teamed up with our friend, the AimLab, maker of Gridshot, who created a custom version of this first person shooter training exercise just for this experiment. Back at Kernel, we took a look at the results. This is a part of the brain that's related to reorienting your spatial attention. So I might say like, oh, maybe you're surprised mm. every time that comes up in a different spot. We found a striking difference in how Scump's brain and mine responded to the exact same situation. I mean, the images actually, they represent what I was feeling when I was playing Scump. So my brain, it's like I have lava brain, and Scump is as cool as ice. <laughs> and counterintuitively, Scump's brain was actually working harder during the control task when the target remained stationary than when the target was moving about. Part of this could also be that Scump was not just playing the rhythm. Like you were playing the rhythm during the control and Scump may be actually playing the game. All of this leads us to even more questions. How can each one of us train our brains to perform like Scump? Or is Scump's brain just wired differently? And why don't we know the answers to these questions already? Until now, progress in neuroscience has been limited to multi-million dollar room-sized machines. Kernel Flow can change this, and we're inviting you to come be a part of it. For the first time, we will be opening our doors. Hundreds of gamers across all skill levels will join us on the frontier of neuroscience. This is your chance to try out our state-of-the-art technology yourself. Let's go beyond counting our calories and tracking our steps. Let's begin exploring how to level up our gaming and ourselves.